Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit of an experiment and that is to test my theory on whether the best colors in your face can save me from the worst colors like on my clothes. And you know, ever since becoming a stylist, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I've sort of taken a new path down the styling route because it's something that I enjoy and, and that gives me joy and I want to bring that into other people's lives because you know, a lot of people struggle with what to wear, with body confidence, and I think just being able to pull together a great outfit can do so much, you know, for your spirits, especially what I've learned during the whole pandemic is it's something that has brought me so much, you know, joy. Color can be something that is very emotive, you know, wearing a color that looks great on you can feel really great. And I'm one of those people that I truly do believe that everyone can wear every color. I mean, it's not always just about flattering, Sometimes, you know, it's just a color you enjoy it. Even if it might not look the best on you, just wear it. But I want to test out the theory that my worst colors can still look good on me because I've got my best makeup on. But before I get into it, I want to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Annalisa. And in the past, I have received PR from them before, but today they're actually sponsoring a video, which to me um, means a lot because it, it does mean that they value my work, which... I think as content creators, it's important. Ana Luisa is a brand that I, I really do like. I think they've got great classic pieces and also some trendier pieces, but the quality is really good. I'm wearing their earrings today and they're just, you know, kind of plain gold plated hoop earrings. And I think they're beautiful. They don't irritate my ears, which for earrings, you know, it's, it is sometimes tricky to find earrings that work well, but if they're gold plated or if they're stainless steel, generally speaking, they work. And so I think there are a lot of great options if you've got sensitive skin. I've also got these pair, which I'll just swap out to show you what they look like on. But there's just something really cute about these dainty kind of hoop earrings with a little bit of a, a detail to them. If you had multiple hoops, you could probably do two. The prices are also really reasonable. They start at 39 US dollars and they go um, sort of up to 200 over with jewelry because you're wearing it like, you know, if you are wearing it so frequently, it is better to spend a little bit more money on a better quality item. They also have a 365 day warranty. So if you've got any issues with your earrings, contact the customer service and they can basically cover you under that. I also love their adjustable rings. I do have, I guess, stumpier fingers. So for me, buying rings online is just not an option unless there's an adjustable ring option, which I like. Um, and I just like the simplicity of it. I love the color. The color is just beautiful. And there's something just nice and statement about this without being too loud, which for me, I don't really like my rings to be that loud. It's just not my style. And Louisa do make things in small batches, which I think is good because, you know, excess stock is a big problem in the fast fashion world, even in jewelry. When they're in small batches, you know, there's better quality control. There's no wastage. And I think that's a great thing. They're also carbon neutral, which I think is really important. And I think it's great that they're taking that on board because a lot of companies honestly don't care about that kind of stuff. I love that all the packaging is, it's simple, it's cardboard. They come in nice velvet pouches, you know, beautiful presentation. And they are actually doing a 15% off sale for Mother's Day. However, I do have a link in my description, which you can get 15% off for any of the items. So I think, you know, if you know someone that, you know, you want to treat them for Mother's Day with some beautiful jewelry, I think Annalise is a great place to go. So overall, I really like the Annalise pieces that I've gotten in the past. I've been wearing them still. And I do enjoy them. So thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Gonna zoom you in. Okay, so I, I, I haven't got any makeup on my face. Looking really tired, okay? I know I look really tired. My skin is just not that great uh, at the moment. Um, and I had a, a really kind of bitchy comment the other day saying my skin looks so dry. And yes, yes, you know what? I'm not 20 something anymore. You know, my skin, I don't Photoshop, I don't, you know, filter my photos. So, you know what, this is my skin and this is real skin. And, and I think people forget that skin has texture. Of course, I'm gonna put sunscreen on, which don't forget your sunscreen. Don't do the whole Gwyneth Paltrow using sunscreen like a highlighter, that's just, no. Vogue need to get that video down. That's just very, very harmful information. So. Slather on your sunscreen. Sometimes I even put two layers once that first layer has kind of set down. Cause you know, I know I'm supposed to use like one teaspoon and I feel like I'm not putting enough on. So, you know, with aging, this is gonna be something that does protect you from sun damage and, and cancer. And um, 
and, and it's, you know, you just need sunscreen in your life. Next, I'm gonna put some highlighter on before I put concealer on so that I cover that darkness because I feel like that is instantly <laughs> aging. So just a little bit here. And I love this Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, it's the best. I have got the Auric one, which I've used once, and it, it doesn't compare to this. So one day I guess I will actually use it on camera. But today I want to focus on using the best makeup on my face. So that's why I'm going to be using these products that I know are going to work the best. Because I want to give myself a really great base so that I can see how this is going to work against some not so great colors, which are behind me. I've actually already pulled out best and worst because I want to compare. So you can sort of see what I'm talking about. So I've got a bit of uh, Hello Fab concealer. All these things will be in the description below. But I love this concealer. I, I actually recently tried the Kosas one based off a recommendation I had from someone on Instagram. And I still prefer this one. I think it's a little bit creamier than the Kosas one. The Kosas one is a little bit thicker. And I prefer this creamy texture. So I can easily kind of like spread it out with my fingers which is my preferred method of application these days because I'm, I'm lazy and I don't want to wash heaps of brushes which I already have a massive pile that need to be washed so I have quite a lot of pimples today so I'm just going to do the best I can to cover this up but I'm probably going to take the freckle pen out and just turn them into cute little freckles and I thought today I'll, I'll actually wear you know, foundation. I've been wearing tinted moisturizer for the longest time and I think it's time to pull out the foundation. So we're going to do that. This is the Fenty one, which I have not used in a long time and it, it looks like it's separated a little. Again, just with my fingers. Just to cancel that redness out. Because we want the base to be as clean as possible. I'm gonna fast forward this bit because no one needs to see me put my whole foundation on so I'm gonna put a little bit of powder just to set down some of the areas which are a little bit more prone to kind of sweating. I'm not gonna cover my cheeks because I want to put some cream blush on top. I'm gonna ever so quickly do my eyebrows. I'm, I'm not gonna include this bit because it's nothing interesting and it's the same product that I always use so in the next clip you're gonna see me with eyebrows like on. I always feel more put together when I've got the proper framing for my face. And in terms of blush, I've got two colors which are my absolute best. We've got my Suku uh, Pure Color Blush in 102. And unfortunately, this is limited edition. But I think Suku does make something similar to this. The orange is just gorgeous. And oranges like this just make me look sun-kissed, healthy, those are the kind of colors that you know are gonna work best for your skin is when you look more alive when you put it on. Because at the moment, with a blank base, I, I really need some color. And then I've also got this dusty warm pink shade in Desired Glow from KOE. They make my favorite cream blushes. Um, this is actually a repurchase. I've used one up completely already in a previous pan. I repurchased this one. So I think I'm gonna use maybe a bit of both. We'll see. I mean, they're both really great. They're a little bit different from each other, but um, this one is quite, um, yeah, it's just gives you a beautiful, healthy look and very easy to blend out. You know, immediately that's done something to my complexion and it's not fighting with anything. It's, it doesn't look harsh. It just looks like it's in sync with my skin and that's I feel like everyone needs a blush like that in their arsenal. I'm also gonna put a little bit on my nose. Just gives it that kind of like, when the sun hits you, kind of healthy flush. Cause I don't, I used to kind of contour my nose, but now I just can't be bothered. This is the most contouring I do, is just add a bit of color to look a little bit more natural. And that is it. I'm gonna add some bronzer. I might actually just use that brown section of the suku here. I generally do like to add it to my kind of contouring areas because this is quite a cool toned shade I would, that works. This just added some color back to my skin um, because the foundation kind of just kind of gets rid of any 
color on my face really so um, I feel already like my skin looks a lot healthier now in terms of um, you know lip color got my absolute favorite just works really well Miami Fever Ofra and then I actually have this one which is a makeup monsters they no longer make this this is terracotta but it works really beautifully on my skin I might just wear terracotta because it's been a while but it is one of my best colors so we're gonna do that it's an oldie but a goodie for sure bringing back the liquid lipsticks out again which I never thought I would do actually I wore these the other day and I forget how great the lasting power is with liquid lipsticks so that's lips on and I'm just gonna quickly do the eyes I mean I'm not gonna do anything I'm not gonna actually add too much eyeshadow I just wanted to keep it very simple because we are going to be testing out colors how they look on my body now that I've got my best makeup on so I'm literally just gonna add some liner so eyes line and I'm just gonna do mascara and that's it one more thing I want to do I want to add some freckles so I'm gonna do that against all my pimples I'm gonna just turn them into freckles freckles on I'm not even sure if you can see that but <laughs> before I go I do want to add a touch of my ambient lighting powder because this just gives that a bit of a glow to the skin so I'm gonna add just a little bit on top and I'm done that is the makeup very simple if I wasn't talking this would probably take me literally like 10 minutes to do and it's just my best makeup the colors are in sync with my skin and they just work they bring my face forward I look healthy so now that we've got the makeup on let's get on to putting some of these colors close to my face like I said I've got best colors and worst colors so you can compare what they do to my skin because generally speaking if I'm not wearing any makeup and I've got my worst color to my face that worst color is gonna make me look tired it's gonna make me look dull it's gonna make me look sick but we're gonna see how that now looks now that I've got my best makeup on let's start with pink I've got these two can you see automatically which is my best and my worst this is my best pink or one of my best pinks this is my worst which is really unfortunate because everything pink coming out are in this bubblegum pink which is really trendy but looks terrible on me let me put on this pink one first and then the other one this is one of my best pinks I really love this pink there is some warmth to it which is why I think it works because generally speaking I don't think a lot of pinks work really well on me I am warm toned I am medium to high contrast and and this color it's not too light but it, it does have some you know warmth and, and richness to it, which is why I think it works well on me. So let's get on to the worst one. I bought this secondhand, and I bought it because it reminds me of an Issey Miyake piece. Now, what do you think? I'm gonna have to look back on this footage and determine, but looking at myself in the viewfinder, I don't think it looks too terrible. I don't think I look as youthful and healthy as this color. But I don't think it's absolutely terrible. Thoughts? Okay, now we've got some yellows. Can you see which one's my best and worst? I seem to be holding my best on this side. So I might maybe switch it up. But this one is better than this one. This one is quite a muted yellow. I thought it would work well on me, but as I put it on, I looked really kind of quite pale and dull. This yellow, on the other hand, is a little bit brighter a bit more saturated and it's got gold hardware on it which um, gold does look better on my skin so let's see so this is my one of my best yellows it's not a bright yellow it is more of a mango -y yellow which I on my warm skin works really well and I love this color and now let's put on the other one I'm not gonna do it up but this is the other one when I first put this on and I wasn't wearing makeup I really did not like the look of it at all in order for me to have made this work without makeup I put a much warmer, richer orange underneath here. Kind of maybe similar to this color or like closer to the, the, the Miami Fever lipstick. And that worked. But this up close to my face, you know what, when I'm looking at the viewfinder now, I think it looks okay. Thoughts. And again, I'll put the side by side so you can sort of see for yourself. And I will probably look back at these things and sort of see, hmm, no, that does work or no, that doesn't. It is a little bit later in the day because I went and got my flu shot. So if the lighting looks different, it's because it's turned gray outside. It looks like it's going to rain. But anyway, let's move on to the purples. 
I keep showing you the best one. <laughs> my best purple on the side. So this is my best purple. It's like a pastel purple, but it is deeper. Or else this is quite a jewel toned royal purple, which I think looks great on like cooler toned skins, but on my skin, it's not the best. So let's have a look. Now that the weather is warm, I actually wear this skivvy, but um, this one was a custom made one. If you're interested, I'll, I'll leave them in the description bar below as well. But um, this purple, I feel like it goes really well with my skin. It's, it's quite neutral, it's not particularly warm. So I don't know if you can tell, but immediately as I put this on, I noticed in the viewfinder my skin suddenly looks fairer. And it might be because this is so much deeper than my own skin tone. So, interesting. What do you think? I think I can get away with this color, with this makeup. I would potentially put a little bit more color onto my skin. So let's just try that, because I want to add a little bit of this Suku orange, because I feel like as I was running around doing my thing, my blush has kind of come off. So I'm going to add just a little bit more blush, which <laughs> blush is one of those things that I tend to go a little bit crazy on. But I, I feel like it just makes the skin look so much better. Like I've had sun, which I don't. So I, I feel like this works. Like technically this color isn't meant to look the best on my skin. I feel like you probably see this first if I wasn't wearing any makeup, but I think because I've got a bit of a stronger lip, it looks better. Next up we've got some reds. What red do you think is my best and worst red? I think red is one of those colors that I think can work pretty well with my skin tone. The contrast with the black and the red, it just really stands out. So I probably don't have a really terrible red, but one is definitely better than the other. So in my opinion, this red is actually better than this one. This one is a bit deeper. It somehow looks a little bit more orange uh, than this one. This one is, I feel like it's quite a neutral red. It's not too orange and it's not too blue. And I really like this red, it's brighter. And these brighter tones tend to work better on my skin. This is one of my favorite tops. It's from a label called Dominique Healy and she makes beautiful clothes here in Melbourne. One of the best, the best small uh, made to order brands. As I put this on, I just feel like this works really well with my hair color, my skin color, makes my eyes, I think, pop. You know when you've got those reds that you put on your lips and it just makes you look really fresh? It's like one of those colors for me. Now let's do the other red. I don't really know how to describe this red. I feel like this is like a bit of a dirtier red. It's a little bit vampier. Like, I just don't think it works as well. But with the makeup, I don't think I necessarily look drained or tired or anything like that. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how my complexion looks next to the other red because it's, it's, it is really a bit hard to tell without looking um, to the other. But it'll, it'll be interesting to see, I guess, in the, the, the comparison shots, which one actually kind of suit me a little bit better, even with my best makeup. So again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Moving on to some greens, we've got these two. And now greens, I, I absolutely love wearing greens. One of my favorite colors to wear. But there are certainly some greens that just don't look as good on as others. Now that I'm putting these two against my skin, let me know which ones you think are my best and worst. So I would say this one is better. It's lighter, it is brighter. This one, I love the color, but I don't, I just, I don't think it is as good as this one. Um, I think because again, it is on the cooler side, it's got more blue in it. So we've got this Kermit Green. Just gonna tuck this in a little. And I love this color because it's got that tinge of yellowness to it. I think it, it's quite in sync with my skin color. Um, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I, like what I'm seeing. My skin kind of has a healthy tanned look. We've got this color, not my best, but I think with my best makeup, I think it looks fine actually. I feel like my complexion doesn't look as healthy as the other green, but I don't think I look, I, it's not one of those things where you look at me and you think, oh, that really does not suit her that color. In my opinion, I still wear it, I still wear it. Um, but I feel like this one has to work maybe slightly harder than the other and I might again It's one of those things where if I look at myself and I feel like I'm looking a little bit gray a little bit dull I probably add more blush in my best color to make it work a bit better and maybe do it like a brighter lip So instead of this lip, I would do the um, Miami fever. Let's let's actually put some Miami fever on there. I think that looks better It looks better with this lip sometimes when it comes to colors that need a little bit more help It's just like putting on a brighter lip adding a little bit more blush. 
and also maybe a little bit of concealer. Okay, blues. My pick would be this because again, it's richer in tone, it's slightly deeper. This is bordering on pastel, which very, very light shades can sometimes make me just wash me out, I guess. Let's put them to the test. This is a blue I always gravitate towards. It's kind of like a cornflower blue. I do actually have bottoms in this exact color and I just have to be careful when I wear them together. It can sometimes look like scrubs, that's the only thing. Maybe if you're working in the meadow of Kofield, this is not a color you'd wear, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so this blue, this blue, I definitely think it's really hard to pull off. This is probably why I don't wear it that often. But I do like the check print. I think that's, it's coming back in. This is quite actually an old top. Yeah, I do think it makes me maybe look slightly pale and like I need a little bit more color on my cheeks. If you hadn't seen that other blue, I don't think you'd think, oh, that blue looks awful, but you can definitely tell that there is one better than the other. Does my best makeup save me from this color though? I think it does. I think the contrast of the orange with the blue, I think somehow works. Um, orange and blue are a color combination that I really love. It's totally underrated and I think they go great together. So last one I wanna do are with coats and they're browns. So again, which brown would you go for if you were me? This color is, I find, quite tricky to pull off. You would think that because it is a very yellow toned brown that would work really well, but I feel like it actually makes me look too, too yellow. Like it brings out a lot of the yellow in my skin. And I do definitely sometimes struggle to make this color work. This one is more of a neutral brown, a little bit cooler. And I think it's an easier brown to pull off in my opinion. So let's put them on and see what we think. This is faux fur by the way, faux fur, okay. I, don't, I wouldn't buy a real fur. Uh, it's extremely soft and I, I love it. I can't wait till it gets cool enough to wear this. I do think this brown is a good brown for me. I normally would not be just in a bra in these coats, but just so that it doesn't fight with other, it doesn't like clash with other colors. It's really yellow. I do find that this is a tricky color to wear, but I'm liking it with makeup. I actually do think this works. But usually if I didn't have any makeup on, I do think that this makes me look a little bit sallow. Um, I do think this is a, a quite a tricky brown to wear. It's like a toffee, it's pretty strong yellow based. So that's it, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it was a fun little experiment to see whether or not I can still wear my worst colors with my best makeup. And I think the answer is yes, I can. In fact, I, I honestly think anyone can wear whatever color they want, but I definitely think I can see why my best colors work better on me. And I've taken photos and put them on my Instagram to see what you guys think. It definitely see, seems like you guys can spot my best colors as well. When I look at the photos of my worst colors against my best, I notice that I am i don't have the warmth in my skin. I don't have as much of that kind of like sun-kissed look. I think the other colors that aren't as good can bring the grayness out, which even with my best makeup, when I compare the two, I can tell. If I wasn't doing side-by-sides, I think they work fine. If I'm having one of those days where I really need to wear my best, I will go for those colors that are better for me. So I think what I'm trying to say is, yes, you can. Yes, I think your best colors can save you from your worst, <laughs> but I still, I still think my best colors with my best makeup look better, you know? I'm so interested to know what you guys think. Um, I would be interested to see you do this little experiment. Try and put your best, most flattering makeup on your skin and then wear your worst colors and see if that helps. I think it will. I just thought it'd be a fun little thing to try out. Again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Um, again, check out the links in my comments below for 15% off and also everything that I mentioned, I will try and link if they're still around, if you're interested. Otherwise, comment, let me know your thoughts and whether you guys enjoyed this because I definitely wanna do more kind of styling videos as well because that's sort of where my passion lies. Although I still love makeup and I think that makeup you can play to your advantage when you know, putting on outfits. Anyway, hope you guys are well wherever you are and I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.